Zimbabwe, Botswana, and Ritobi. 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 Welcome to my channel. My name is Sheikha Kulet, but since you are watching this, you can definitely call me Makwiti with the vibes. Um, we are in the middle of a wedding series, so if it is your first time seeing a video by me or you stumbled upon a link from somebody or something, I'm originally from Botswana, married to a Zimbabwean beautiful, handsome, Shona man. Um, so we got married during COVID. And we never got to celebrate with our family and friends. We had small gatherings, like small lunch, nyana, <clears throat> small bridal receival, small lobola, small cot ceremony, small blessings. No, no, everything was big in Jesus' name. The blessings were big. But you get what I mean, right? So the past December 2022, we got to celebrate our white wedding. We've already gone through um about four episodes yes this is the fifth episode so if you have not watched the previous episodes please just quickly go back before you watch this one yeah um yeah don't forget to like before we watch the video and don't forget to subscribe we have if you have not subscribed yet for the returning subscribers what it do what it does i love you guys um thank you for the constant support and my people on today's video you will get to see our service providers so first one big kudzi kudzi the planner um she was my coordinator for the day um but she was very helpful to be honest she was very very helpful her duty was only to come on the day and make sure things are running smoothly but even before the day she was always calling me asking me what's the update with this are you okay what's this what's that um recommending stuff for me so i'm super grateful i'll definitely recommend her and also um she was recommended by my my nini um also my friend her name is forever mrs m if you don't follow her on youtube she's a youtuber you can go ahead and do so um she was uh, forever mrs m's wedding planner that's how i met her um and then the other person service provider was comic pasta who was our mc guys 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 do you know like in Botswana we actually don't hire mcs so it's a thing that I've seen since we moved to Zim and I was like, is it necessary? Do we have to? But after seeing the work that Comic Pasta pulled, I was like, it is very necessary. People should always hire MCs. So if you're from Botswana, hire an MC. It's a thing now. Because in Botswana, you just take like your relative, your friend, you know, somebody. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a profession, you know, that MCs, MCs. Not the MCs in the club, but like MCs at events, at weddings to be specific. Um, Kamek Pasta did an amazing, amazing job. He was also Forever Mrs. M's MC, um, but he also goes, we go to the ch same church. Yeah, we go to the same church. And the good thing about him is that he knows how to manage people. Like you won't find people randomly standing up or chilling in a corner there by themselves. No, he manages a crowd right and on top of that he's very fun uh he engages the people there it won't be a boring wedding like the ones we're used to in Botswana no offense no offense no offense but like majority of the weddings where they'll be talking and it'll be speech of the speech you get like he's keeping people entertained and above everything like the icing on the top of the cake he speaks Sotswana. So that was the major reason why we also chose him. It was easier for, for him to converse with my people. So my people would, you know, they would also be in the vibe. They would enjoy the wedding because the MC was both sides. Speaks Shona, speaks Sotswana, speaks English, do you know? And they are old people, obviously. We can say the wedding is strictly English, but like our grandparents and them, they do know English, but come on. Come on. 
<laughs> so um comic pasta did an amazing job but i'm so happy like <clears throat> i absolutely have no complaints um and then the other service provider that we had our photographer was miles oh do you know like all my service providers were amazing guesses so the photography and the videography was done by miles photography these names that I'm saying, guys, are also on all social media platforms, Instagram mainly. Um, so you can go start them, book them for your events. Come on now, book them. I'm recommending them to you. I'm plugging you. Miles, Miles, I actually found him on Instagram. I had no direct <laughs> link with him. I found him on Instagram, but the communication was a hundred. They were like, I'm satisfied okay even on the day of the wedding itself they were very you know hands-on um when we're preparing like in the morning when we're getting ready absolutely amazing um yeah okay you would even tell me okay pose like so ladies do this okay do like this do you know and he he was able to get some footage because it rained on our wedding day I was going to tell you when I post the day day vlog, like the day video, but it rained on our wedding day and we were not able to have that photo, that photo session basically with family and friends and stuff. But Miles did the best they could, honestly. Um, I'm happy with the way they handled things, with how they were also communicating prior to the wedding, asking of the dates, the timings, what time they should come, um, pre-wedding photo shoot of which we haven't done. <laughs> so hopefully you are yet to do it. I mean, I mean, I like pictures. I'm always ready. But my husband is just like, yeah, I'll see. So I'm happy with that. And the footage they put. Just, I must say also guys, they're very, they're on time, like on time, you don't have to wait like months or weeks before they send you that footage. They gave me time, quickly, Instagram reel, quickly. And I don't know, they understand that, you know, content creators, we want to post while the fire is still there, all people are still excited. Not six months later, I then post for you guys, it's like, okay, ma'am, we forgot about it, we forgot about your wedding. Mm, so I, they were very considerate of the fact that um, we're content creators. Okay, I'm a content creator. My husband is like, do you know? <laughs> so I feel like as a content creator or somebody who likes media and pictures and footage, you want to get your stuff well in time. We had a bad experience during our Lobola. Um, we did get pictures in time, like a few, but we didn't get everything right we didn't get a video nothing so it was a bad experience i don't even want to get into it the next provider was the decor oh my god upway events we used upway events um they were working directly with gugu her name is gugu spot on like i'd be like gugu what's up and she'll reply there and then do you know um they provided almost everything including the florals including my bouquet including the girls bouquets um the cutlery the a lot of things really they did about two mock setup for us in fact on the second one i kept changing things no i want this ornament no i don't want this no i want that so they were very patient to be honest they were very patient very affordable yeah i mean i just realized decor is very expensive in general <laughs> so that the price was i'll leave it up to you guys but um i was happy with the service i was happy with how everything turned out what absolutely happy like do you know um i had to downsize on my candles because i was like what am i going to do with all these candles after the wedding do you know but google was able to like alter the decor in a way that will have less candles like i had suggested or asked for and it still looked banging initially we're not even gonna have a dance floor but somehow kuzi was like no have a dance floor so you see the people were just working together guys go on instagram and search for operate events you'll thank me later you'll thank me later who else is there that i'm oh my cake lady oh my god Oh my god, oh my god. 
my hair was beautiful listen Liz, listen to me huh my hair was banging it, like Literally, now the video is just going to be me talking, but like you guys don't understand the my service providers. So my cake lady, I just showed her a picture, the picture that I took from social media, that I did screenshots. So my cake lady, I'm like, I want this. I want the colors. I want exactly as it is. But that one that I saw was like a four tier. So I was like, mm, my husband and I are not really cake people like that. But I make it still, but maybe a three tier. And then we had cakes for the parents. That's two other ones on the side. And then, um, obviously, because I changed from four tier to three tier, she's like, okay, what colors do you want? I was like, listen, just do what you think will look nice. And did she not do what you, that she thought would look nice? And it looked nice? Oh, oh, I put a picture. Let me put a picture so you get what I'm talking about. It was really nice. It was nice. And the way it tasted, okay, but the way it tasted, I'm not surprised because she is our cake lady, like my, my guru's cake lady, now my cake lady. Every birthday we order from her, so I already knew what to expect. I didn't even have to go cake tasting because we've had her cakes before and we fully trusted her. Elsa, my, oh wait, I didn't tell you guys the name of my cake lady. Her name is Zungi. She actually has a shop in Westgate. I think that's the name of the mall. But on social media, her name is Cake diva if i'm if i'm wrong i'll also just i write all the names actually whether i'm correct or wrong cake diva is her social media platforms and who else am i forgetting um coordinator mc photographer videographer decor i've already spoken about venue on the previous item um my stationery lady oh how can i forget her okay but she's like part of like my coordinator because she was suggested by her but she also did um a lovely job she she did the girls um gift paper bags i thought gift boxes were a bit overrated so i decided to do um gift bags because also the girls were all traveling into zim so it would have been easier for them to fold the branded um, gift paper bags and keep them in their bags. So yes, the only thing that didn't come out like I wanted was our bag drop. Huh? The letters were so big on the bag drop. I was like, mm, I don't like that. I do not like that. So um, our coordinator um, with the decor people, they just turned the backdrop turned it around and hid all of those um, printed words. It was supposed to be a Bible verse, but the way I envisioned it was that it was just gonna be a line, but it turned out to be the whole board. I was like, no, it's not working for me. That's it, let me start the video. Do we want to just buy time so our poor siblings they come in, they dance or they do something? Yes, okay. So, what are we betting on? Okay, we're betting that the bride will be late on the day of the <laughs> wedding. And <laughs> as usual, you know me, guys, this is not the first, this is not the last. I take a cake after the wedding. <laughs> we'll see. Could we? You're saying? I'm betting that the groom is going to be late. Yeah, Thank you. I've you know, had, Thank no, you. I've had two meetings. Two meetings. Yes, the men one, with meetings. The one he didn't even but, show up. The other one he didn't <laughs> even show up. Then he came at three. The first initial meeting was supposed to meet at twelve. He came at three. No, that's eight. men. Men with meetings. But on the day of the wedding, we know. Can I have the camera? Can I? Can I? Can I have the camera? Our culprit is here. There is our culprit. Where? Where are you? Oh, I can't you see can you. Turn your head. I can't see hey. you. There is our culprit. Tell us what time will you arrive? Because what time do I need to? <laughs> I'll be there. Give me what time, time is the wedding starting? <laughs> the wedding starting at 1 p.m. What okay. time will you be there? Tucci? No! no. We'll be there at 1, uh, 12 45. 12.45. Yeah, we agree that if you come late, if you come at 2, the comic pass will take the cake. Uh, it's like the top one. The it's top like... one. The big. Okay, but if I come early, you're supposed to give me 100 years deep. No, no, no. <laughs> if you're waiting, you have to come early. <laughs> Oh, it is actually. It is. 
Woo! We're ready. The coffee pass is ready. Yeah, I'm yeah. Super excited. Yes. This yes. wedding is one of the biggest weddings yes. I've ever done. Come on. It's yes. a Zimbabwe Botswana type yes. of wedding. And uh, yes. Ritobi Na. Ritobi Na. Kajumela. Dumela Na. Ritobi Na. Ritobi Na. A day before the wedding, so this is a young catch up. Oh my goodness, I haven't spoken to the camera in so long. What? I had a kitchen party, but uh, I was not recording because I was like the sign of attraction, baby. Um, I had like the decor was nice, I had my own table, my girl Irene was sitting beside me translating and everything. Do you know, I was taught so much, my church people came through, all my sisters came through, my moms, my aunts, everybody, okay. Um, this was about two weeks ago, and then the gifts are God, guys. The gifts of God made me realize that I need to move to a bigger house. Do you know what I mean? Whew. It was good vibes. It was really good vibes. And then the same day is the day that my TikTok blew up. Like legit, I remember recording. What's going on? Backlight portrait. I don't understand what's going on. But literally before I left to go to the kitchen party, I did... A young video on TikTok, you know, I think if you've been watching my previous videos, I was always like, yeah, I need to resurrect my TikTok, ah, I need to be more active on TikTok, wah, wah, wah. And then I post this video of me trying to speak Shona, did it not blow up? Like legit, guys, like I was trending, right? I was like, wait, what? And I didn't even realize it because I posted and then I left my house, went to the kitchen party, it was vibes on vibes, I was happy. And then like five, six hours later, I checked my phone and I'm like, wait, what? And then the next day, I'm like, wait, what? I'm reposted by so many pages. And like the love I was getting, okay, wait, mm -hmm. I got so much love and then I also got so much hate. Or I don't know if it was like they were trying to be funny and jokey jokey, but Saba bullying should not be allowed. Anyways, we are not phased. After kitchen party, never mind, now it's diverting. Kitchen party, weeks passed. Um, this is now two weeks later, a day before the wedding. And my sister came on Monday, and then my cousin came on Wednesday, Rio. And then my, my mom came on Wednesday as well. My brother-in-law on Thursday, Sine on Thursday. Who else? Mandy today this morning like oh my god everybody keeps coming every day every day now the whole entire clan is coming tonight because tomorrow morning it finna be already I got my nails done yesterday Ooh. yeah I love them I actually really like them wait to wonder how my skin is glowing Yui. Babe, is this your wife? And you're going to marry me again? Wow. Skin is glowing. I went for facials on Wednesday. Wednesday? Was it Wednesday? Hey. It was last week. I went for facials last week. And my skin is really, really doing great. Did my nails yesterday. Did my hair not too long ago. I don't know how I'm going to show you guys, but I love it. Okay, so I'm from the salon, baby came to pick me up and we're going home. Yay, there's so many people in our house, like my house is just like, what is going on? What? As for my neighbors, the noise that comes out from there, they're just like, what's really going on? But yeah guys, that's the wedding update. I don't know who's gonna be vlogging for you guys tomorrow, but it'll be lit. I'm excited. We're getting at the venue. This is the night before. Hey. Ooh, look at the lights. It looks so cute. Oh my god. 
Oh my oh, god. Oh, so Coco. Oh, so oh my god. <gasps> Wee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lights is here. There we go. Yay. I'm wearing a bonnet because, well, why not? Can I, can when, can can I said I must just come with this No, hair. no, I should see my hairstyle. Like, but you know, you it's have so to like, pretty. you have to be creative with like the pins to decorate my hair, like my accessories. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do best. I'll do best. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the lips. Hey, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, it's nice. No, the keys are coming. Oh. So it's it. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah, I can't see anything from here. This part. Yes. Nah, I'm making a piece of it. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Oh, it's so cute. Wow. Can you wow? Okay, I think. No, no, no. Like, you go where you're supposed to go. <laughs> Can I come sleep with you? I'm gonna enjoy it because it's busy and I can't do it. It's busy. Come and enjoy it because it's nice. It's it's fun. Uh, thank you so much for reaching this far into the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm super excited to see you on the next episode, which is likely to be the last episode. So trust, it'll be banging. It'll be the actual wedding day full of vibes on vibes. Um, don't forget to like and leave a cute comment for the girl. Please, pretty, please. Otherwise, guys, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you on the next episode.